Hey guys, today we gonna talk about the Internet of Things. So, let's begin. The Internet of Things or IoT describes physical objects with sensors, processing ability, software, and other technologies that connect and exchange data with other devices and systems over the Internet or other communications networks. History of IoT, the concept of the Internet of Things and the term itself, first appeared in a speech by Peter T. Lewis, to the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation 15th Annual Legislative Weekend in Washington, D.C., published in September 1985. According to Lewis, the Internet of Things, or IoT, is the integration of people, processes and technology with connectable devices and sensors to enable remote monitoring, status, manipulation and evaluation of trends of such devices. Why is the Internet of Things, IoT, so important? Over the past few years, IoT has become one of the most important technologies of the 21st century. Now that we can connect everyday objects, kitchen appliances, cars, thermostats, and baby monitors to the internet via embedded devices, seamless communication is possible between people, processes, and things. By means of low-cost computing, the cloud, big data, analytics, and mobile technologies, physical things can share and collect data with minimal human intervention. In this hyperconnected world, digital systems can record, monitor, and adjust each interaction between connected things. The physical world meets the digital world, and they cooperate. Now, you may ask what are examples of an Internet of Things device? Pretty much any physical object can be transformed into an IoT device if it can be connected to the Internet to be controlled or communicate information. For example, a light bulb that can be switched on using a smartphone app is an IoT device, a motion sensor, a smart thermostat in your office, or a connected streetlight. The second example is an IoT-backed security solution that uses real-time data to provide mitigation tactics and prevent cybersecurity attacks. It can even prepare incident responses and security policies based on network activity. The third example is innovating agriculture. Agriculture, as an industry, could massively benefit from the Internet of Things. Sensors are used to provide details of soil chemistry and fertilizer profiles. CO2 levels, moisture, temperature, level of acidity, and the presence of appropriate nutrients all contribute to how good a harvest turns out to be. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy watching this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.